was always real active in uh, church activities and community activities. And I was head of the mutual in the, the young people's organization in the LDS church of the women's mutual. And then I was home demonstration club president. And I also, the Cascade County uh, extension agent had asked if he wanted to do something with the 4-H clubs in Sun River Valley. There's three towns involved, Port Shaw, Sun River, and Sims. And he said wanted to form one big club and have all the members in it. He asked if I'd come in and meet with him, and he asked me to, to be the head of it and help plan the town how to do that. So during those years, I had these three really busy jobs. Now we were living at Sims and with two or seven kids and I was feeling awfully rushed and George says we had to get another place and get off that highway before we, we say again lost a kid or a cow I like that. But I was coming from, I didn't want to, but I was coming from the church one day and a uh, car head on me stopped right at our place two miles east of Sims, and the woman got out of the car and walked up in front of her car and picked up a little child in a diaper, nothing else, and it was Wendy. And uh, my nephew had come each summer, he was the age of Char and Russ, and he had come and stayed each summer, and he, wanted, he says he didn't want to go to, to Mutual, that's where I was coming from, Mutual. Char and Russ wanted to go, but he says he'd stay home and take care of Wendy, so I wouldn't have to take her. And he'd forgot, he wasn't used to babysitting, he was so apologetic, he'd forgot about her. And she was going out to find Mom <laughs> in the diaper, I'll never forget that woman picking up my daughter and walking down the middle of the <laughs> highway. And I resigned from everything in the community that week <laughs> and stayed home and raised kids.